All right, guys, it's Tuesday, December 3rd. We are dressed warm because it is cold. I'm talking about the first official cold front of the year here in South Florida. Temp is dipping below 50 degrees, and we're fired up to go out and get on some fish today. So I'm here with Captain Lewis Cole from Team Utopia. We're gonna be riding out on their 39 CV with Quad 350 Mercury Verados. And if you wanna learn something, pay attention today. <laughs> These guys right here are defending champions, 2019 champions of Operation Sailfish. They also are the world champions of the Quest for the Crest series from 2016. They've been a dominant force in our series for years, and we're excited to go out and have some fun with them and learn a few things. So Lewis, what's, uh, what's the plan for today? So today, as you said, uh, Jamie, it's the first uh, real cold front of the season, and uh, fish will be biting. There's been a couple of fish around caught uh, local, and uh, we're gonna go try, put up some numbers today in the morning, and then in the afternoon, the wind's gonna drop a little bit, so we're gonna go try playing in the sand. So it should be a fun day today. I like it. So for me, I've been fishing my whole life, kite fishing, been doing a lot of it. I haven't done a lot of the sand yeah. stuff, so you guys may learn something. I'm gonna learn something today, and let's go get it done. Here we go. So it is 8.15 a.m. We just made a pretty good run to the north. I'd say about 25 miles or so. We're sitting in 102 feet of water um, right off Del Rey. We've got the Del Rey water tower right behind me. And um, we're gonna see what happens. We got, Cat, we got some current? Yeah, we got north current, probably a knot and a half. The water conditions look uh, decent. Should be some fish around. Okay. We have a uh, uh, Kyle Sherman uh, buddy of ours on a boat just to the south of us set up. Uh, so Lewis is talking to him and let's see if we can get a bite. All right guys, so uh, when you're a guest on the boat, you always follow the captain's orders. Captain Lewis said, Bon, how do you feel about fishing a flat line off the bow? I said, sure. <laughs> and we're tight, 125. Looks like it's swimming at the boat though. I don't know what we got. He just saw a, uh, he also just saw a flopper in shore, so things are looking up. Oh, come on, did we pull? Uh, Sangocho! Couple of ways on this flat line that we can do this. As far as bridling the bait is concerned, either a nose bridle or a shoulder bridle. I prefer myself a bridle through the shoulder, right up there. I'm gonna pull that right through. I'm gonna loop it over, give it a couple of twists, right back under. That gets that hook just a little further back in the bait but it'll still swim fine if you're pulling it around like we are right now. You on? Well, we get bit there, is that the short? The left short. All right guys, so we got our first documented sail on video. They can't prove that mine was a sail, we didn't see it. So technically they're giving me a minus two. Jeff's tight. Mr. T and R tackle getting after him. 
Uh, we may be turning a single into a double right now. So short herring on the right side, 150 feet of water, right off Deerfield Pier. Looks like we may have found a couple of fish. And then you can jump over it. Walk him like a dog, Mikey. Walk him like a dog. <laughs> Woo! All right, so this is number one, numero uno for the day. Again, right here off Deerfield Pier. Had a couple other bites. We getting tight in the back right now? Yeah. It looks like we've actually uh, lassoed the fish right here on the bill. So we're gonna get a clean release and we're gonna go try and do it again. All right, we're in a groove. We're in a groove. Just got set back up. Logan immediately got fit on the left short. We got two spinners that we just pitched overboard and see if we can keep getting some bites here. Fish is just cruising up on the surface right now, so we're closing the gap right now. Uh, Lewis has turned the boat back to the north. Fish is in shore, and so we're just kind of easing in on the fish right now. Here we go, we got him up top. Woo! There we go, another release. Yes, sir. Woo! Nice. Pretty work, pretty work. Good job, Luke. All right, so it's about 11.30. We are officially two for six, I believe. Is that right, guys? Um, and we've actually slid out a little further offshore. We're in almost 300 feet now and drifted on the sides. I don't know if you can swing the camera around or not. You can see off the starboard side here, basically have shifted the rods and everything around and just changing it up a little bit. and. Uh, I think uh, Cap said he saw an edge a little further out, so we're gonna see what happens. So we're here set up, drifting off the side. They're using their trident. And a uh, cool little tip that I thought I would share with you on a pool noodle. Pool noodles are very popular at the sandbar, as many know, but they also apparently can come in very handy, as you see here. Uh, what they're using, the guys are using it for is a quick place to store these rigging needles so that when they need to go to the well, grab a bait. A lot of times you're fumbling around trying to find the needle. If it's right there in front of you where you're rigging the bait, it just makes it quick and easy. Some of the best ideas are the simplest ones. All right, well. We made it south all the way to Hillsborough Inlet. Water looks good, good current. Not a lot happened in it, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the day. Uh, we've officially gone two for six, got into a good flurry up there to the north. It's been a good day, and uh, we'll get back to the dock. Jeff, I'm gonna throw this question at you because um, I think this is something that would be valuable for some of the people watching this video to get a perspective on. You know, how important is your network of people that you communicate with when it comes to fishing and making decisions about north or south or shallow or deep? Um, because, you know, I know you had talked about some information that you had prior to about Del Rey. So how, how important is 
networking and utilizing that when it comes to really trying to make the most out of your fishing day, whether it's tournament right. fishing or fun fishing. The network is everything. You know, you have your you have your handful of core people that you speak to, that you trust, that you give good information to, that you ex expect them to give good information to you. But then, you know, you get some wild card that's on the boat. He, oh, I talked to my buddy off Pompano, they're biting. And gets in Lewis's head, then we chase him, for all for nothing. So the network is, is cru crucial, you know, the information at the end of the day, he's driving the boat. So, you know, we feed it up to him and he, he knows most of the stuff before we even tell him. So, for those of you guys that are watching this video, I mean, I think to that point, um, you know, social media is so predominant today. Whether it's stopping in a, a local tackle shop like Jeff's, building relationships with guys who are constantly talking to captains, adding some more phone numbers to your book um, of numbers in your cell phone. On any given day, just making a couple of phone calls can, can make a big difference, right, in terms of that experience that you have on the water. And you don't have to be a professional to do that. You just have to be willing to put in a little time to build some relationships. And, you know, it's one hand washes the other, I think. Chances are, you're gonna give good information to somebody that you can count on, like you said, to return that good information. For people that want to be able to jump in and follow you guys a little bit more on social media, you guys have? Uh, Instagram, it's at Utopia Fishing. Okay. And uh, Facebook, it's at Utopia Fishing Team. And more than welcome to follow us and you'll get some good content and tips along the season. Perfect. And uh, obviously, uh, you know where to find us at Fish Blue Water, bluewatermovements.com on the site. Um, we're fired up for, for our three tournaments coming this season and uh, look forward to seeing you guys at the events. So um, best of luck. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to the next episode. We've, we've been out with the Hardway Boys and uh, the Utopia Boys now. And uh, next up, it looks like is going to be Team Bar South, our 2015 quest for the crest champions so we'll see you at the next video all right so i hope you enjoyed the video guys make sure you remember to like comment and subscribe the only thing that we could ask is that you just help us grow the channel we want to reach more people uh, we're excited to bring these new videos every week on thursdays for you guys so make sure you tune in check your notifications hey if there's something specific you'd like us to cover something you want to learn or something you want to see hit us up Throw a comment on one of the videos or you can reach us at info at bluewatermovements.com. But until the next time, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday at Fish Blue Water.